G'day guys, um, today I thought I'd show you um, a bit of a video about the uh, new Steinhardt 39mm uh, Ocean 1 GMT. Uh, obviously if you guys can quite clearly see, this is a homage to the Rolex GMT, um, uh, the Pepsi bezel version. Um, retail on this is about 750 Australian, um, if you get it imported directly from Steinhardt. Um, it is the 39mm version, so it's closer to the Rolex size. Um, it is a little bit flatter on the um, uh, the lugs than the, the Rolex, doesn't curve down as much, certainly around here as well. Um, so it does wear sort of, you know, a little bit flatter on the wrist. Um, but uh, it is around about the same sort of size as the, the Rolex. Uh, Steinhardt do actually do two other versions of this. Uh, they do a 42mm version, which I've had previously. Uh, and that was a little bit too big. Um, and they also do a 44mm version, which is sort of like a um, bastardised version between a sea dweller and, uh, and a GMT if they were to ever have children. Um, this one is perfect though. Uh, like I say, it, it's just, you know, the right sort of size. It is closer to the classical Rolex size. And, um, you know, a lot of people have been screaming for this model to uh, to come out for quite some time. It's been out for about a year now, I think, um, but um, you know, typically for this particular version, you will find there uh, is quite a, a wait. I know when I ordered mine, it took about three or four weeks uh, for uh, for them to get stock and then and then get it delivered. Again, um, you know, as with all Steinhardt models, uh, it's a really good balance between quality um, and price point. So this does have a, uh, as you can see, they have the date magnifier, full sapphire crystal. Um, Super Luminova uh, BGW uh, 9 I think it is loom so it's a nice blue loom uh, it is an aluminium bezel uh, it would be nice to see a um, uh, an enamel uh, or a ceramic version at some point but uh, for the time being you, uh, you just have to deal with the uh, the old um, uh, aluminium version uh, is 120 clicks on the, um, the bezel here um, and again you know fitment uh, is really nice with that um, 12 o'clock uh, perfect um, on the uh, uh, matching on the dial there. Uh, you've got polished case, uh, screw down case back, and this is water resistant too. We can see there 300 meters. Um, so, you know, uh, more than enough water resistance. Uh, I have worn this in the shower and the bath. Um, I know I shouldn't, but, um, you know, with 300 meters of water resistance, it's not showing any signs of, uh, of damage yet, thank God. Um, one of the good things about the, um, the Stein Hearts is, um, for those of us that don't have um, spring bar tool removers and all that sort of jazz for links, they are actually screwing links. So it's very easy to um, to adjust the, uh, the the bracelet here. It is a uh, brushed stainless steel, nice little clasp, nothing special, and it's certainly not up to the standard of what the Rolex one is. There's no fine adjustment or anything along those lines, but um, you know it's good enough. And as you can see, they're solid end links. Uh, screw down crown, and it is signed with Steinhardt. Um, not a lot else really, I don't think I can tell you, other than you know. It's a, uh, a great watch for the uh, the cash, and uh, I highly recommend uh, buying it. Uh, if there are any questions, by all means, please feel free to, to ask. But uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.